Hey there, Napani here. This video has come as a request from someone in the Patreon on how to do wave dashing with the current tutorial series I'm doing. If you guys want to have requests and for me to do videos on them, join the Patreon and I'll be more than pleasured to carry out videos like this. So without further ado, let's go straight into the tutorial. Alright, so before I continue, this Fox character that I'm using right now, this is a test Fox character. So there's a few nodes in here that you're going to see that you may not have. This is just stuff that I'm experimenting with for the main tutorial series that I'm doing. So if you're confused with some code that may not look similar to what I've done in the previous parts of the series, don't worry. This is just a one-off tutorial, so you don't need to worry about that. But yeah, let's continue the tutorial. So before we get into this, I need to explain to you how wave dashing works. The way wave dashing works is by pressing the jump button. And then by pressing the jump button, you enter into the jump squat state. And so in games like melee, the way wave dashing works is via a glitch because you can actually air dodge during the jump squat and as long as you're still touching the ground you will go into a landing state and then go back into an aerial state and then from there you can wave dash and do attacks but games such as rivals of aether they actually have wave dashing built into the game so all you really need to do from the jump squat state is to press either left or right and wave dash and you'll move perfectly left and right and so with the way we're going to implement this code we're going to implement it in the same way that rivals the aether does it where all you really have to do is press left or right and then press the dodge button whilst you're in the jump squat state and so hopefully you understand that let's get straight into this okay so the first thing that we have to do is go into the state machine and we're gonna have to scroll down to the jump squat state so i'm just gonna do Control f and then do jump underscore squat and then colon and over here yeah there you go so under line 113 it says if parent dot frame is equal to parent dot jump squat underneath here we're going to paste in some code this is the code you want to implement let me scroll to the right so that you can see all of the code and so from here this piece of code actually has something called a perfect wave dash modifier which is a variable that our fox character currently doesn't have. So in our fox test, what we're going to do is under the landing stuff, we're going to create a new variable, call it the perfect wave dash modifier. And we're going to give it a value of one. Okay, so now from here, what we need to do is go back to the state machine and under the dash, state there's a problem with this line of code here this line of code is meant to say just pressed rather than pressed if you keep this in pressed which is actually an issue a mistake that i've made in the past tutorial series if you keep this as pressed you will be able to wave dash infinitely and so from my testing before doing this tutorial i realized that was a mistake i've made so if you have this mistake as well you can just make it just pressed if you figured it out by yourself then you're pretty smart well done and one last thing that we need to make sure is go to our project settings, go to our input map and make sure that we have an input for the shield button since you cannot wave dash without pressing the shield button. So for me, I'm going to make it shift. Okay, and so from here, go to the test stage and implement the fox character. All you really have to do is press jump and either left or right. And as you're doing that, press the shield button. And there you go, you get a wave dash. Like such. Oh, let me just uh, recover myself here. But yeah, that's how you do it. If you're not happy with the distance of your character's uh, wave dash, we can adjust it. And so what you can do is go back to the fox test character and make the number uh, 0.5 and this would make your character wave dash twice the distance as you can see it's a bit mad there but yeah that's something you can do so with a lot of tweaking you can do something like 0 0.8 and have your character be really slippery when they are when they're wave dashing as you can see 
And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.